Love, light, and blessings. This is Shamanic Awak Priestess here. And I want to share this really fun hoodoo spiritual call and explain what I'm going to use everything for, as well as talk about my autumn decks. The decks that I'm going to be working with in the month of September, October, and November. Autumn is my favorite time of the year, as is spring. Autumn and spring are my two favorite seasons. I am really not a summer person. I do like winter more than I do like summer. Summer is my least favorite. But autumn and spring, those are my jam. One, because I was born in spring. And autumn because of ancestral veneration, which is the foundation of my practice. And because of Fet Gede. I love Fet Gede. Like, I get so excited um, about the autumn season, everything pumpkin, everything autumn. Like, I'm really, really excited. So today, I went and did my nails today. So I got my mani and my petty. Um, I did my eyebrows today. So I did my little, you know, self-care thing um, today because Saturday is like my only day off. And basically, then I went, took the kids to the mall. We had a great time. We went out for ice cream. I went shopping. I was excited because a lot of my clothes are not fitting me. So I was like, oh, I guess I went down a couple of sizes again. So I went to the store, got some new jeans, got some new shirts. You guys are going to see in future videos. So very excited about that. Um, my uh, progress to self-love and health and everything has been going well. Um, so I was just excited about that. I didn't bring out the clothes because this is not really like a clothes channel i wanted to show you like the spiritual part of my haul but i did go to um i think it's american eagle and i love their like stretchy jeans and i ended up getting uh two jeans two new jeans from there because they're having a sale for labor day weekend um i like to use the high rise um the high rise i think it's the super no not this like yeah the super high rise curvy uh jeans that's the ones i like and they're nice and stretchy and if you got booty and hips and all that the pants are gonna fit you like a glove um and they have their jeans on sale and i think it's their entire inventory i think that's what she told me it's buy one get one 50 off so of course i bought one pair of jeans and got another one 50 off so and their jeans are good because it'll last me forever and ever then i went to my local rainbows and bought like seven new tops and everything else so i'm excited about getting my little work world job going and things like that because i just started to notice like some of my clothes started was like falling off and so I definitely did go down to, to dress sizes. So I was shocked. I actually fit into a size 12. So I was like really excited about that. But enough about that. So I did that. And then I went to the toy store. And the kids got to each pick a toy that they wanted. Um, because they've been so good. And I wanted to reward them for their good behavior. So my 15-year-old and my 8-year-old got to pick some brand new toys. And again, we went for ice cream. And um, before that, I had went to um, get my Manny and Petty. There's a sea town right next to the place where I get my nails done. And I went and got some things for the spirit. So I've had a really great Saturday. And I try not to record on Saturdays, but I'm in such a good mood. And I want to put all these things away and I want to use them. So I want to share with you. So you have any type of Spanish supermarkets, I wanted to give you some ideas and things you can incorporate into hoodoo. I am going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul because I started doing those when I first started doing my channel and I noticed they become really popular, like hey, everybody does them now. When I was doing them, nobody was really doing them. And I just haven't really been doing Dollar Tree hauls because of the fact uh, COVID and all that kind of stuff. But I am going to be going because I wanna buy some things for autumn to decorate the house. So look out for that haul because I'm gonna be doing a Dollar Tree autumn slash spiritual haul. But anyways, I wanted to do some spiritual baths. So I use Florida water soap, and I do take a bath with herbs. But there are times I want to take floral baths. So I bought two dozen white carnations. One is for, um, some of it's going to be used for spiritual bath that I'm going to be creating. So I'm going to be doing a baño blanco or a white bath. So I'm going to be doing that um, tonight, actually, is why I wanted to make this video and the other one i bought uh so half of this is going to go for the bath 
okay a very famous bath you take in spiritualism espiritismo. and the rest of the carnations i'm actually going to put on my ancestor altar i like to put fresh white flowers on my ancestor altar but i'm also be going i'm also going to be putting the carnations in my work altar because i always like to have live plants so uh certain spirits that today is saturday that i'm going to be doing works and rituals for tonight i'm going to be also giving them some live able i talked to my students about that they know what that means um, i'm going to be giving them some live offerings okay so that's going to literally be used for the spirits um, i got it in my spanish supermarket very very inexpensive it was like 12.99 for um a dozen so yeah like i think there's actually there's yeah there's like two sorry these are these are not a dozen these are two dozen so there's 24 in each so 12.99 for two dozen carnations sorry all right so i'm gonna pause this put this back in water because after i'm done with this video i'm actually gonna start uh distributing the flowers and stuff but i just want again i wanted to make this video first yeah so like i was saying i love to offer my spirits live plants i don't do plastic plants or artificial plants i do refresh my flowers where in my close traditions that we practice we never offer them artificial flowers it's always real stuff um and there's reasons for that i'm not gonna get into all that my students know why uh but there's reasons for that um yeah you have to give them living offerings okay at least the tradition that i practice so yes so that's that so that's going to go to some of the spirits some of it's going to be used for spiritual baths i'm just going to be doing some cleansing i love doing spiritual baths floor washes things like that on saturdays and sundays so that's what that's going to go to um i also work with children's spirits so in the spanish supermarket that i have in my house sea town okay um they have like the 199 section for to uh, for toys or candy i got my spirits some toys so i work with the twin spirits so they call them the marasa so i'm gonna give that to them they have like the same uh exact offering um i'm gonna give that to them in their altar with the candy and everything and the toys because i do buy them toys i work with children's spirits so i give them toys candies sodas you know all the things that kids love so um yeah i talk to them i read to them like i really interact with them so they're going to be receiving those offerings i'm really excited to give that to them um Elegua is a the aspect that i work with he's a child so i'm gonna be giving this to um my orisha there's a child and he's gonna be getting the toys and the candy and everything else for his offering um and then i have another spirit she's the mother okay um everybody knows i talk about danto all the time danto came to me danto saved my life is really danto i love her i'm gonna be giving this uh to her she has a baby so i'm gonna be giving this to one of danto's children as an offering his pink little maracas like how cute is that with the little yo-yo and the candy so these are offerings are going to be for children's spirits um when we give offerings to spirits we give them real things um food candies things like that um also i do like to brew fresh coffee for my spirits uh, most of my orishas loas ancestor spirits all take coffee but i also do like to offer them coffee in candy form because everybody knows a regular coffee the coffee is going to go bad after a while so i like to uh have a like bowl of candy that has coffee candy in it and also offer to them that as well and it's only 99 cents i mean and it's a great offering for the spirits but i still give them the fresh coffee as well and i love giving any of my sweet spirits or love spirits or anything like that this is real honey filled candy it's 99 cents and that's another offertory thing that i give to the spirits um i also do smoke tobacco for my spirits okay and do i do buy traditional cigars but i also like to keep on hand black and mild okay i do like to give them black and mild offerings and their altars and i do use tobacco sacred in my culture so i do smoke it for religious reasons so i got those two as well as i needed this 
candle lighters I needed to get some new candle lighters because I only have the one and for a while my local shop right and local supermarkets didn't have lighters so I made sure to get this this was a little overpriced because I could get this at the dollar store for a dollar but it was $1.69 at the Spanish store now it just did not want to go to the Dollar Tree today I was you know already I went here before I went to pick up the kids to go to the mall and go shopping so I kind of just Wanted to do everything in one store. Everything else was well priced. Um, this candles, they're like $2.29. And so I got a San Lazaro St. Lazarus candle. Um, this this spirit is synchronized with a Orisha and Santeria. And this saint is synchronized with a Loa and Voodoo. Okay. So that is San Lazaro. So I'm actually going to use this as an offering to my Loa. Okay. And is going to go on their altar and this is going to go to my orisha that this saint is synchronized with my orisha okay so i have a, a divino nino de jesus and then i got two plain white candles because i have all the other colors so i always run a low and use the most white white covers everything yes i don't like goya but these are goya candles okay and they're like 239 um and i'm gonna clean them and everything else but yeah i always like to have you know some nice plain white candles um you could never 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 go wrong with those they literally all spirits take the color white um these two candles are for my road opener spirits um and things of that nature um this is your uh rosa so rose water i use this a lot and I bought two. I bought three, actually. One I gave to my daughter for her spirit. Um, these two are going to be used for me. Literally, I went through, I go through like a bottle like every two to three weeks. Like I use this a lot for offerings, anointing candles, putting it on my person. I work a lot with rose, okay? Rose scents, rose incense, rose petals, rose flowers, rose everything, dried roses, rose water rolls 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 several of my spirits take rolls as offerings and anytime i do any type of uh rituals to those particular spirits i like to anoint myself with rose um so rose is a very heavily heavily used um scent and spiritual cologne in my practice so i bought that i also like to incorporate these colognes in spiritual baths just to give it a little something something um, and it smells good. Like I can't. So, and then yerba buena. So yerba buena is another one that I love very, very much. So yerba buena is spearmint. I use spearmint heavily in my practice. It is a very holy and sacred herb in espiritismo and hoodoo and in santeria. So definitely use this a lot. Had to buy a new bottle because the other bottle is, I just replaced the other bottle cause it was empty. But I want to have a backup one because that one I use a lot as well. And I use this a lot as well, La Siete Potencia Africana, the Seven African Powers Cologne. And all these colognes were $2.39 at my local Spanish store. Um, this was like three somethings, a little overpriced, but it's fine. I bought the Siete Machos. Siete Machos I like to use a lot with Congo Spirits. Um, and some of my orishas take this as well. Um, any devotee of like Santa Muerte, she likes Siete Machos Cologne as well. So there's like several spirits that would take that. Let me, there we go. Then I got this guy. This is a, a different brand, but I love that it has the purple lavender. There's spirits that I work with that take the color purple. So I kind of bought this. So I could set it in their altar as like their scent. So I already know what spirit I'm going to give this to. Okay. We're getting into the season of the Gedes. So I think I'm going to put this in my Gede altar to offer to my Gedes. Because it's, it's beautiful. It's uh, Florida water with lavender infused in it. And I just love the purples. And I think this will be just a really nice one um, to have in my Gede altar. Because Fit Gede is coming in October. And I'm very, very excited about it. I also got a couple of herbs. Um, so this one is ground black pepper. I use this a lot. And I also use cayenne pepper. 
So this is the time we get into darker works, uh, you know, darkness and walking in the darkness and, and, and death and all of that because we're in autumn. And so a lot of my cemetery spirits love cayenne pepper, black pepper, things like that. So I'm going to actually be making some oils with this. And um, so, yeah, with other things, you know, so I'm excited. Uh, I'm going to be using those as well to infuse in my oils and also just for anointing, um, you know, putting on candles and offerings and a lot of fun stuff. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I love working with cayenne pepper. I love working with really hot peppers. Of course, I'll put gloves on, but I work a lot with peppers, especially if, for anybody who works with Gedes. You know, they love spice. So that's my haul when it comes to spiritual haul. And now the second half of the video, I'm going to show you guys the tarot decks that I'm going to be working with in the months of September, October, November. Okay, so now the second half of this video is going to be my autumn decks. So the decks I'm going to be working with in the season, in the in the season, in the season of autumn, in the seasons of Fegede, the season of the Gedes, the season of autumn. Okay, so first and foremost, um, the deck I'm currently working with and I plan to work with in the most September for professional readings is the Silver Craft Tarot. Okay, I love this. This does have some body diversity, um, but it also has some racial diversity. So it's a little bit um, more inclusive deck. Um, and I do like this one. I've been having this one for years, um, but I had it when it still had the silver gilding. I still have that copy of it, but I wanted to get a backup copy because I had stopped using it because I didn't want to mess up the gilding, especially when I found out. They weren't gilding the deck, and I love gilding. I know a lot of people don't. I do. So I got the backup version. I reordered it for the purpose of this video. But um, this deck has for a long time been one of my favorite. I'm always drawn to it in autumn season. Um, I did connect with this one. I never connected with the Modern Witch Tarot and ended up having to gift it away. But this one I do really, 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 really love. Um, I love the original one when it was still gilded. The you know the the um cardstock changed too, but it's still good. It holds up pretty good because I've been using it um, since September started for professional readings. And you know, for those of you that have been following me for a while, you guys do know that I um, work full time as a reader. It is my job. So I'm reading with this deck like 40 hours a week, 35 hours a week. You know, so it has held up really beautifully. I love, look at this, they like, I love how like the high priestess and the higher fan is the high priest, so like they match up, so like these two match up, the emperor and the empress, and the um, high priestess and the higher fan are the high priestess and the high priest, and they match, and I really, really love that, it's like the duality, so it's it's really awesome. Um, so I love that. This deck also has, uh, one of my favorite, uh, chariot cards as well. Um, it's just a really wonderful deck. And like I was saying, you see, they have like some body diversity, um, and things like that. So yeah, um, I really, really love it. It's, it's good. Um, I don't feel like it's, it's not... Like, it has, you know, cups or chalices, whatever. Like, I can read with it, but I'm not going to say that, um, like, it really stays true to the right of weight um, kind of thing. Like, some of the cards, um, you know, like the seven of chalices, I think it is. Let's see. Yeah, like the seven of chalices, okay, um, looks more like the seven of pentacles. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, but I, I could still read with this deck. Like, I get really good readings. I have had no complaints. Um, this deck reads very well for me. So, um, it, it's very, for me, it really gets my psychic abilities, my intuition going, and my guides love it. So, and these are the backs of it. I love it. The Triple Moon. So, it's a good one. Um, because it's the deck that I'm currently reading with, I'm holding it in my tarot box. So, whenever I have my uh, working 
working deck. So whatever working deck I'm working with at the time is hosted in this box. This has its own little tarot bag, but because it's the card, the deck that I'm using, I have my little selenite. I have my little lep, um, lepolite, I believe that's what it's called, and my little spirit quartz in there. So I have that in there, and that's being housed in this beautiful star card box, okay? So, but that's the silver witchcraft tarot. And the other deck I'm gonna work with um, this fall, that just feels like a beautiful fall deck. This one I'm gonna work with in the month of October. I bought it for the month of October, and that's the Witch Tarot. This is a new purchase for me. I'm very, very, very excited to work with this one. Um, it is gorgeous and beautiful. There is some um, diversity, not as much as I would like, but there is some uh, diversity in this deck, okay? Um, yeah, there's just some. So for, I know for, it's glossy, sorry. So I know for some people that could be a deal breaker um, if it just has some diversity. But, you know, and to some people it's like, well, it's better than nothing. But I do like this deck, okay? Um, I wish it did have more diversity, but I do like this deck. And I'm really, 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 really excited um, to work with this one. It is beautiful. The colors in it is beautiful. It just feels autumn-y to me. And um, the cardstock is on the very thin side, so that can also be a deal breaker for some people. I would definitely, um, definitely, definitely going to be working with this deck personally this month. And then it's going to be, once I work with it and get a feel for it, I'm planning to transfer it to my professional readings um, and things of that nature. So I'm going to be doing some readings for myself, some journaling, and some major bonding with this deck starting tomorrow, basically until the end of September and just reading with it for myself and others outside of paid services. And if I do connect with it, I am planning to use it for my client readings. I think this back is just gorgeous. It's it's a beautiful, it's a beautifully colored, like I love this deck a lot. So these two decks kind of uh, check the boxes for me as far as witchy decks and the reason why i purchased this one over the everyday witch the everyday witch had absolutely no diversity in it and this one at least has some and i just love it i actually like the artwork on this one better to be honest and the colors and everything else so and i love the red the red velvet bag that i got for it it just pops so i'm excited so that's going to be for october and then this deck i've been having for a while love this this is like a backup copy because my original copy was beat up but i love 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 this deck and this is the original right away i feel like this is a very autumny deck because of all the oranges and stuff it just feels like a november deck for me with the yellows and it just it just i don't know it just feels like november to me so I'm going to be using this deck for the entire month of November for my professional readings. Um, I love this deck so much that I had to get a backup copy of it because I wore it down. And that's the backs. I love the backs of this deck. And it is the, um, the cardstock kind of like it, kind of don't. It kind of, the new cardstock feels kind of sharp. So I have to be making sure I don't give myself a paper cut, but... Um, yeah, I love it. I got a blue bag for it to match the blue backs of the cards. And yes, all my working decks all are in the same type of pouches. So I have 12 of these for my 12 working decks because I do like to switch my decks out on a monthly basis. All 12 decks, with the exception of the Witch's Tarot, are decks that I've been working with for years. The Witch's Tarot I already knew I'm going to connect with because it's very right away Smith. I just cannot wait to work with it. I will definitely let you guys know if I'm going to work with it for client readings. Deck number four that I'm going to be working with um, in um, autumn. These two are going to be for personal, personal work. So basically for personal readings for myself. And the number four tarot is actually the Hoodoo Tarot, which I've already been using. I love these. I actually work with this. And I tend to pull from my conjure cards, which I'm going to show you guys as well. I forgot to pull it out. Um, and I love it. I love the artwork. I love the guidebook. This is the guidebook that it comes with. 
I did a walkthrough of this deck. I did a review of this deck. I love it. It feels like old photos. I love that this deck was created by a black woman. Um, it's It feels very gross. Research the guidebook. It's just a beautiful reader. Um, I love this for private reading. Like This is the type of deck that I want to... Uh, pretty much have those spirit messages, um, things like that, just, you know, guiding me on my spiritual path. And I do communicate directly with my ancestors, so I don't need divination to do that. They literally talk to me telepathically, like we have that type of thing they, in dreams, and I communicate with them directly. However, I do like to use tarot um, to kind of do occasionally, like every one to two weeks, I like to check in, uh, do a three-card poll, see what type of energies are around me, see uh, what the spirits want me to work on. So I use it for like goal setting. I'll use it for like um, what kind of things do I need to look out for? What kind of things do I, uh, what things are working against me? What things are working for me? Um, and things like that, you know, and business goals, a personal life, family readings, you know, things about me personally, these are all like every single character in these cards are like family and friends to me. This just looks like an old photo album, like like old aged pictures. They all feel like family and familiar. Like this is just such a nice root chakra type of, you know, ancestral type of deck. Like I love this deck so, so much. I get so much out of the guidebook and it's just beautiful. Like it's beautiful. Um, I remember when I did my first 29 days, at that time it was 28 days, of Millionaire Excellence, so celebrating black history throughout the diaspora. And I remember I was talking about Black Herman, and then I had gotten this deck, and it was like confirmation, because I literally got this deck at the first time I ever did uh, Black History Month celebration on my channel, where I did a new video every single day. And, um, yeah, and I bought this deck. I had pre-ordered it in celebrations of that. And, again, I just love it. She looks like such a, like, la madama, you know? Bible in one hand and the gun in the other. Like, she just gives me that la madama energy. As you know, I love la madama. La madama is just, oh, I love her. I talk about her all the time. This is not what her altar is, but she is in my work altar for protection and stuff. But, yeah, she's just such a, like, madama. Like, uh, I just love her. Um, look at the beautiful four of sticks. I love the, like, skin color diversity. Just, I can go on and on about this deck. Like, this deck is the deck, okay? I love this one, too. Courtship. So, like, the lovers. But anyways, we're going to move on. So, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. The guidebook is everything. Um, these are, like I said, the backs of the cards. Some people don't like the cardstock. The, this cardstock has held up very beautifully. Um, and again, I love working with this deck. And I love using the Oracle cards or basically playing cards, really, um, deck. The Conjure cards. Um, I love them. So, I'm... Um, gonna see if I'll remember to pull them out if I don't um I think you guys have seen the deck but I just I just feel like it it, it it just really goes together like it just really goes together because it has like that muted brown background the other one looks like paper you know what I'm just gonna get the deck so yeah you can just see because I love it okay I love it so I keep my conjure cards in this black and gray uh pouch because again I feel like just very ancestral and I love this deck conjure cards i like when i am using this deck i have found that ooh, ooh, let me boom that i like working with these two together like the, you know just the the hoodoo this is literally a hoodoo deck and a major component of hoodoo is not just bone casting but also playing card divination and so this is why i love this um, I love the, the art is so like simple and clean. Um, it is just a great, great deck. This deck is like really blunt, the interpretation of the cards. If you read the guidebook, but it's so like very Lenormandy in, in a way, like it's just very like, this is what it is. Um, it's going to tell you the truth in your face. 
and so this this deck is not for the faint of heart like it's gonna tell you what it is so i'm gonna use this one for and i did a review of it already um i'm gonna be using this deck for i just i love like how it looks like it's water damaged and old like like somebody just had it in like an old basement somewhere um and then this looks like old family photos so i just i think they go so well together i'm going to be using that as well for autumn because again autumn to me is all about the ancestors together and things like that celebrating those that we have lost you know um, in the physical world that are still in the spirit world my guides me working with la madama spirit my native spirits and the gede so which are the ancestral spirits that have passed on so i basically love to work with this deck during the autumn seasons last but not least is the spell casters uh tarot so um yeah the spell casters tarot the last but not least is the deck that i'm going to be using as well and i pull out the guidebooks because i don't have the boxes anymore and this is the Spellcaster's Tarot. It's beautiful. It's the very thin, I like the thin cardstock, so it doesn't bother me. Llewellyn type cardstock. This is the backs of the cards. I'm gonna put them back here because I know everything's so glary and glossy. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful deck, guys. Um, it does have diversity. This is also very dark. It just feels very autumn-y to me. And I'm going to be doing personal readings with this one as well. The Conja cards, the Hoodoo Tarot, and the Spellcaster's Tarot, all the decks that I'm going to be working with in the next three months um, and things like that for any type of personal readings. I love this. Uh, this deck does have diversity. It's very, it's, it is diverse. So I love that about it. Look at the world card. Gorgeous. But it does have some, you know, demons on it. Some people are not comfortable with that um, and things like that. So they do have some darker cards. I love the portrayal of death. You know, but, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea. Um, I'm trying to find a particular... Oh, my goodness. The Two of Swords. Look at her. Like, she is so gorgeous. Like, hello, future wife. Um, but see, like, the Devil card is very, like... You know what I mean? Like, it's very dark, so it's not for everybody. Um, this is the High Priestess. The guidebook does not explain why they use certain symbology in this deck, by the way. So, be aware of that. Because I know some people are like, but why did they use this? Or why did they use that? And what this symbol? Um, they do have same-sex love here. Okay, I love that. Um... But yeah, I can't, I couldn't find it. There was a certain card I wanted to find, but it's fine. Um, I love how orange the background is with the wands. It's beautiful. Um, I love this nine of swords too. You have the wolf protecting spirit just sitting there like watching. And this wheel of fortune is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But yeah, it's a beautiful deck. But see how like the swords has fire in it? The elements are kind of wonky in this deck, but I do love it for a reader for myself. Um, maybe someday I'll be professionally with it, but I do love it for myself. I, I do love doing readings for myself. A wonderful friend of mine's on YouTube gift this, this to me, and I love her for that. And I like to have purple for it because it's, it's just, again, very giddy energy to me and very like, um, you know, season of the dead kind of situation, so... Uh, anybody who works with the Gettys know they love the red, black, white, and purples. You know, literally in Haiti, they call us the lady in purple, those that serve the Gede spirits. And then I wanted to share one last thing in this video. It's like a check-in video kind of thing. Check-in slash haul type of crazy video. Um, also, my empties. So, like I said, I had to buy new uh, Yerba Buena because, as you can see, empty. So, I'm going to be recycling that. Um, I also cinnamon, I just replaced cause I do buy like, I'll tend to buy them like two or three at a time. So I have them nice and supplied and stocked up. So when I need to do things for clients, I could just pull them out. But when I see that I only have one left, which is what happened with the Yelba when I have the only one that I have that I just opened today. So I have a backup one now in the cabinet. Um, yeah. So cinnamon, I use heavily in my practice. Yelba Buena, which is spearmint. 
as you can see rose water i use rose water literally in one month these are the two um rose waters that i used i use rose water a lot and florida water but i have i buy um i buy this like i'll buy 24 of them at a time so i always because i have to have florida water like that is such a big thing and I have to get more glory water because I went through all of it, like offerings, putting them in my bath, so on and so forth. So literally, I love, 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 love this so much. So yes, guys, that's basically what's going on there. So yeah, those are my empties. These are the decks I'm going to work with in the season of autumn. And that was also a haul. Um, this week was the first week that my kids started school, so it has been crazy. I have a schedule that I'm going to be recording videos, most likely on Fridays. It's it's I do a lot of readings from Monday through Thursday, and I do classes on Friday, so it would make sense um, because I don't have as many readings. I have very limited readings on Fridays. It would just make more sense for me to record videos on Friday. Today's Saturday, so I'm not going to be doing that anymore. I'm going to start recording them on Fridays. I have everything on a schedule, so there are some really great videos that I'm going to be creating next time. But I wanted to put something on my channel because it's been over a week since I recorded my last video. And I was like, I need to put some content out there. So I was shopping today. I was like, let's do that. But... I have some really great future content coming. I do have some updates as far as the uh, fundraising for Haiti. So on my next video that I'm making, I have all these links. I have all this new information. I've been vetting. I've talked to people. The spirits have spoken to me. They've kind of let me know what charities and things like that. I'm also going to be doing a future fundraiser. So I have a lot of business announcements that I'm going to be making so um, I'm going to most likely record that video on Sunday. So tomorrow, look out possibly. I don't know when I'm actually going to post the video, but I know that I have set it, I have set aside because I do classes on Sunday. So I literally work six days a week. Saturdays are my only days off. Is why I very limited try to not answer too many emails or be on Skype because I literally work six days a week. Because even making YouTube videos, this is a community but it's also a channel that i use to promote my business and services and things like that and to connect to other people so it's still a job i'm still working making a video making um writing for my classes um editing the classes that i have coming up like the madama the folk magic classes i'm in my second group of the hoodoo classes that i did um, I have some announcements about some future classes I'm doing, some really fun things I'm doing. Like, I have a lot of things that I'm branching out to um, this year into next year, but I don't want to announce anything because I kind of want to make just a video about it. But there's some exciting things going to go on with Shamanic Adweb Priestess. For those of you that want a private reading with me, shamanicadwebpriestess.com, shamanicadwebpriestess.com. There on my website, you can book a reading with me. And you can have your one-on-one -on -one time with me. Until the next video, guys, much love, much light, much blessings. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and for supporting my content. Um, many blessings to each and every one of you. Bye, guys.